What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? So listen, this video I want to make and talk about this discussion is one that we always hear a lot from the women. They always say men cheat more than women. Now let's tap into it and let's dive right on in. No need to stretch it out. Now, in my theory, do men cheat more than women? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say it's exactly the same. Mac, how could you say it's exactly the same? You want to know why I say it's exactly the same? How is it that men cheat more than women when men are cheating with women? Now, we're talking about heterosexual relationships. We're not talking about um, none of this um, homosexuality, none of this lesbian stuff. We are talking about heterosexual because I can't give you guys information on why I feel gay men cheat or why do I feel lesbians cheat because I'm not one of them. I have no, no um, experience or information in that department because number one, I'm not no doctor. I'm not no psychologist. I'm not no counselor. I'm not a shrink. I'm none of that. So I'm not fit to sit here and study the gay community just so I can say why they go through what they go through when I don't have the experience that they do. I'm not worried about that. But what I can talk about is heterosexual activities. Now, men, why do we cheat more? We don't. Because we have to have a woman, which means that the women, nine times out of ten, are not single. And if they are single, they were already once dealing with a man that was with a woman. And they openly knew that he had a woman. They didn't care why, because nine times out of ten, they was getting what they wanted out of the deal. Whether it was financial, whether it was mental, whether it was whatever type of support they was getting it. So that's why I say it goes both ways. That's why I say it's equal. Now, men cheat for various reasons. And men don't cheat because they're not in love or they don't love their significant other. A lot of women get with us men and they pull back on the things that they did to get us. They think that a man's job is to keep chasing and keep working hard to keep them happy. No, it's always supposed to be reciprocated. Now, I'm not saying it's supposed to be 50-50 because sometimes it's going to be 20-80. It might be 30-70. It's going to always be like that. It's going to always have its imbalance. However, women get with us men. They stop going to the gym if they was into the, keeping their body together. They stop eating clean if they was into keeping their body together. They stop having um, intercourse with their significant other or their boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever the case may be. They stop doing all those things. Now, a man would get enticed off of sight really easy, the average man, off of sight really easy. And he don't have no plans on leaving his woman. However, most of us men think with our little man downstairs. And if we think with our little man downstairs, nine times out of 10, that man is gonna win. He's gonna talk you and convince you into, let's just do it this one time. Let's do it this one time, right? So guess what? We do. And then we like, wow. I got this chick, because nine times out of 10, they're gonna be a little more attractive than your woman. Now you get those boogawoods every now and again, but nine times out of 10, they're gonna be more attractive than your woman. And where you mess up, men, is you give up the answers to the test. Then you start thinking that she's better than your woman, but you're not realizing that you're telling her everything that your woman not doing, and that's gonna make her do everything that your woman not doing. And if you're one of the type that's gonna lead someone for someone, you get with that person, this is when we have the grass is green syndrome. You think the grass is greener over there, but what you feel to realize is it's a lot of artificial turf now in these yards. So the grass is gonna stay greener over there. However, 
there's no maintenance. There's no water in it. There's no trimming it. There's no cutting it. There's no doing anything much to it to keep it green. When in a relationship, you have to water the grass, which means you have to do all the things that you did to win this person over. But when the grass is artificial, you didn't have to do anything but give up the answers to the test, tell them what your person wasn't doing. And when they know that, they put on a persona and they start manipulating you into thinking that they're better, especially if you are financially providing for them to win them over with gifts. You love bombing them with gifts, um, expensive dinners, lunches, pop-ups and all this stuff. But the thing that you fail to realize is in your head, you know it's temporary. And they head, they like, no, I want this for myself. Not realizing that you just put your best foot forward. So now you go mess up the household. Now, if you and your woman don't break up, right? It's a high percentage that she already mentally checked out before you even started messing around. And if she mentally checked out, she's gonna find someone that she's truly into before she starts cheating. Because the average woman don't just sleep around just to sleep around because their little person down there is connected to their mind. And if you get a woman's mind, you pretty much have the woman. So they, they're they learning to um, not let that control them to just sleep with anyone. Now you get those women that are sleep with a person for a pack of Newports and, and some fake Jordans. You have those type of women. And those are not the ones we're talking about because you shouldn't even be in a relationship with a woman like that in the first place. We talking about women, not little girls and grown women bodies. Now, if you have that type of woman that you really truly feel like she's the one and you just messed up and this and that, she gonna give you the opportunity to fix it, but she's gonna give you hell. But it's gonna always be in the back of her mind that you cannot be trusted. And instead of her just leaving out, she's gonna get a kick out of sticking around to torture you, to make you work harder, to try to prove someone in reality, there's nothing you can do that can gain that woman trust back. Now this is the twist. She's not realizing that she played a part in you or in you cheating. She neglected you. She didn't respect you. She didn't bring you any um, support, no comfort. She didn't have compassion for you. She stopped doing all the things that she wants done for you. So of course, when you see a woman that give you attention, the average man don't have the opportunity to just have women hitting on them. They don't. So when a man get that attention from a woman, it goes to our head. We like, oh my God, this girl like me. And then you start attitudes with your woman at home because you know she's not doing what she once did. And you have this person over here doing that, right? But you keep failing to realize that you gave up the answers to the test. Number one, don't ever talk to the next woman about your relationship because you want them to show their true colors because they're gonna put their best foot forward. But a person can only hold their best foot forward in this mask over their face for three months. After 90 days, true colors are always gonna reveal. You're gonna see the red flags throughout the three months. However, it's gonna be officially off their face. You're gonna see exactly who they are. So just be patient. So this is how I go with women. You have some women that have really good men. They want the good men. They want the great guy. And I mean, he is good. And especially if you have kids and he don't, and he take a liking to your kid, to your child, love your child, start doing the things that the father is not doing for your child. So you like, okay, I'm gonna invest and be with this dude. But in reality, you don't want a good guy. You want the guy that all the women want. You want the bad guy. You want the guy such as myself. Cause I play, I have different roles to where that I am a great man I'm a good father. However, my edges are extremely rough around the edges. So 
That's why when a woman get with me nine times out of ten, they got the bad guy, they got the bad boy, they got the good guy. But this is exactly who I am, so I'm not holding a persona. See what I'm saying? But you get those women that want the bad guy that have no good guy up in them. They want the guy that's gonna drive their car and bring it back on E. They want the guy to where they can leave out the house like they're going to go to Bible study or sneaking off with a friend, and next thing you know, they're going to go see this bad boy. Now, they're not going to talk up. They're going to let you know that they have a significant other, right? But this woman is going to downplay her significant other so bad to where you're going to have to feel like the guy don't deserve her. She's too perfect because what she's doing is setting up the place where she can forever get what she wants out of you until she's done with you because she's not going to leave a good thing for a good time. But she wants that good time to last as long as she possibly want it to last. Because women don't get caught cheating unless they want to. Women do not get caught cheating unless they want to. Now, it takes a special man that really knows his woman every move and studying by looking at her, not by stalking her. But her gestures, her perfumes, the way she do her hair. Like, it takes a very special man that can tell those things. The average man, we look past that right we feel like well we um going to work we working two jobs we providing so that's good enough no both parties have to put that work in so there you go you have a woman in a relationship she's cheating you cheating a man can't cheat more than a woman when we're messing with women now a woman can have a dude and say that she's single she can say she's single because she can justify that she's not cheating. But in reality, the person that she is with don't know that she's saying she's single. You know, so that whole theory of me and her dogs, me and our dogs. But women are dogs, too. They are female dogs. And we know what that word is. Because like they say, birds of a feather flock together. You can't have men being dogs and women not. Women just don't take accountability. Women are used to getting hit on. The average woman get hit on more than a man will ever get hit on. So they can adapt to it to where they're not craving that attention. They're not going to bite on the first few guys. But a man that's not used to it, he's going to bite on that attention. He's going to he's going to cross boundaries because of not being used to getting it. So the moral of this story, guys, you got to always respect your own boundaries. You got to always carry yourself with respect in class. I'm not saying you can't be a hard ass. You can't be tough. No, I'm saying you got to carry yourself with class as in the type of women that you bring into your world have to be classy enough out in the public and slutty enough behind them doors with you. You don't want no internet chick. You don't want no chick that posts everything, everywhere she goes. As soon as you go out to eat, she want to take a picture of the food and post it. She posts just maybe your knuckle or your fingernail or she make it seem like she in these places by herself. You don't want that type of woman. You want a woman that'll put you on her wall, not in her stories. You want a woman that don't care much about social media with posting plates because only a person that's not that's that's surprised that they is there and they're excited to share with the world will post their plates all the time or post that type of stuff. You want a woman that's used to the smaller things like that to where it's not much of a big deal to share with the world because there's things that need to stay private because once it's in the public, only one person gonna look like a fool and that's the one that's not doing the crazy things. So Anywho, people shine. Giving it to you, gun barrel straight, raw and uncut, no filter. I'm about to let you guys go. I hope y'all enjoy y'all day. I hope a lot of you stay safe and stay respectful out here because we are in the tough times right now. Everything is inflation. There's a lot of angry people that's out here ready to self-destruct, and it's not because it's you. It's because of the pressure that they have on them. So let's try to be a little more mindful. Let's try to be a little more courteous to others and especially to ourselves. So continue treating yourself good. Anyway, 
I'll holler at y'all later. Smell you later. Kick, kick, kick.